Hello wonderful people, viewers and subscribers, I'm back again. I weep for Southern Kaduna people. What is happening there, the crime against humanity, the genocide that is happening there is something that the world should come and intervene. Yes. The killing of Christians in Kaduna and the man sitting there as the governor is not helping matters. And we take them by their words, just like this one. <laughs> You saw it. A man that occupies such position making this kind of statement. We knew when he made that statement during the time of Good Luck Jonathan administration. And upon the same reason, they came up with a propaganda of insecurity in Nigeria. Today, no place is secured in Nigeria. You can hear from the account of people who are direct victims of these atrocities happening in Kaduna State. Zambo Katav has come under attack by armed bandit less than 24 hours after Kunkundaji in Kaura local government area was attacked. On Monday, armed bandit again attacked Gora than burning down houses and looting property, a situation that resulted to 11 persons killed. Honestly speaking, the gun they are using surpass the one that is given to the military. I don't think any army can can tempt to shoot his gun at the hearing of this militant because their gun were more powerful than theirs. There are more than two, three machine guns. They are bombarding all these villages. They are coming from the bush to attack us. That's why most of us now don't feel free going to the farm. At our age, we are carrying guns to defend ourselves. Is that the good way? If they allow us to train ourselves into guns, what do we become tomorrow? I'm robbers. You're hustling my shop. They boss at the boss at the shop. See other shops. They boss all the shops. Condemn everywhere. What is the need of that? Please, we want the government to rise and help. Women and children were seen running for safety for the fear of impending attack. Christiana Zakaria, who sustained serious degree of injuries, narrated her experiences. It, it carried the head of the gun, hit me. It hit my baby. Later, the carry knife uh, uh, slaughtered me for you. Even my baby, I caught less, I mean, he hit me with it. Now they caught my baby here. So the thing entered deep. The locals say some of their people are still missing and the level of damages are yet to be ascertained and they are calling on government to come to their rescue you've seen that i don't want to show some of the vo um some of the you know graphic content of this um, they, are, they, are, they, they are just too too heartbreaking at this time these things are still happening with the man we don't top for Abuja doing virtually nothing. Who are the victims? The ordinary people. But the political class, do they care? Just like what is happening in my area from the southeast. You know, I've been talking too much from my from my background. But today, let me look into the south, southern Kaduna pogrom genocide ethnic cleansing religious i would say is this just more or less a religious war unleashed on southern kadunas and the government is not doing anything about it yes i can say that what have they done over the years how many people have been arrested prosecuted and jailed for these crimes just like in the southeast where we have them 
parading as headsmen with AK-47, killing marcheting people, and yet government does nothing about it. <laughs> you remember when I talked about it is the same. Every area have their own fair share of the impunity and the corruption happening in the system. There is nothing you can expect outside this. Just like it is happening in Niger Delta Development um, Commission, the same is happening in the southeast regarding the headers. The same thing is happening in the west. And I told you when you go to the north, of which insecurity is ravaging there, yet government does nothing. Yet you have people who sit in government houses and plunder public wealth. They care less. And those who are saddled with the responsibility of security in Nigeria are now seeing the insecurity in, this, in, in, in Kaduna precisely and in, what do you call it, um, northeast especially. Northeast and the northwest and all of that. Hmm? Not, not. Good. Those people that are saddled with the responsibility of security are now cashing out from the insecurity in these areas, not east, not west, not central, especially the boiling point now, Southern Kaduna. They make provision, they make budget for defense. Just like budgets are being made, money provided for Niger Delta development and some few people pocket it and divert it. Billions running into trillions every year is budgeted for the security. Where does it go? into the few pockets of individuals having different companies. Most of these politicians, they have diverse, they do it without even looking back. Diverse companies, bogus companies registered siphoning contracts that they never execute. They use it to siphon public funds. Look at security. You cannot exonerate the generals and service chiefs in Nigeria with respect to the issue of insecurity and the money that have been fund, made available to fund the fight against insurgent. And our brothers, our nephews, our fathers, our sisters who are in the front line fighting these people are being killed because they are not properly motivated, they are not properly equipped. Even when they die, their families are not properly taken care of. In fact, they dish you out like a piece of shit. That is the situation we have seen in Nigeria. I told you, every Nigerian is a victim of Nigeria. It doesn't matter where you come from. Is it not the other white people that are occupied enough? And the Muslims? Are they not the victim of their own person when you talk about ethnicity? Is it not their own person that is in government and their own people occupying all the security architecture of Nigeria? At the top, not them, police, not them, army, not them, navy, them, air force, them, DSS, them, everything you cover, not them. Yet, you know, she saying that you be the victim. The same is applicable to Niger Delta region. The same is applicable to my own southeast, Ibo land. Go, 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 go. I don't know you be Yoruba. Yoruba people. The story is the same. Now, the question is, will Nigerians learn their lessons? Will they understand that in all of this, let them be the victims? Will they organize themselves and say enough is enough? By going back to their own people, the northern people, the Muslims, in the north, the Fulanese and the Hausas who are being not only let me tell you we call about Fulanese has let me tell you it is not all of the hood Fulanese that are indulged in criminal activities just like those indulging in criminal activities from the southeast or the south south or the southwest okay that is the truth but majority of the people who keep mute and be looking at Kimbo let them be the victims. Will they organize themselves and say enough is enough? Will they stop using you, the poor people? I understand that you have been beaten down by poverty and hunger. That you can sell your family just for a piece of meal. I understand that situation. 
like it is happening in Nigeria, the same it is happening everywhere in Africa. When will the black man sit up? I've spoken. I rest my case. I am been here speaking up for the ordinary people because they are the victims. Every of this class, if there is any kind of crisis now, the people who will be the victims are the ordinary people. Now, I am giving the people an ample opportunity to open up their minds and reason beyond their ethnicity, their religion, or whatsoever, and understand that they are the victims. That these people who are perpetrating this evil against them are united. They don't care about their ethnicity, they don't care about their religious affiliation, or even their party. They work together to make your life miserable. It is high time the people expel these people and take over their life back. This is the only solution to your problem. This is the only solution. And that is why we're trying to organize the people from this side. It is going to happen on the regional basis. It's not going to happen with Nigerian contest general. No. Lie, lie. It will never happen. It's elusive. The other was go and fix your problem. Odudu was go and fix your problem. The Biafrans, we are back home fixing our problem. Okay? That is the situation of things. You have to understand that fact. That is the only way we can get these people down and out. Then, the freedom of the people that have been forced into this unholy union called Nigeria, this British colonial contraption must be dismembered. Every trace of colonization in Africa must be dismembered and dismantled. That is the only hope for the African people and black people all over the world. I've said my bit. Keep liking, keep sharing. If this is your first time of coming on this platform, please continue sharing this video. Subscribe, like, share. Let me have your opinion on the comment section. I thank you so much for watching this far. I'm signing out.